In this video, I'm going to show you an alternative to Photoshop. This program that you're looking at right now is called Affinity Photo. And as you can see, if you've ever used Photoshop before, it looks exactly the same thing. And in my opinion, it pretty much does the same thing. Everything looks in the same place. You have the, uh, the layers and the adjustments in the same spot. So it's, it, there's not a huge learning curve if you decide to use Affinity Photo. What's great about Affinity is that it's only, as you can see here, $50. One-time payment, no subscription. You can buy it for Mac or Windows. And that's it, $49.99 and it's yours. With uh, Photoshop, you have to pay a $10 monthly subscription. That's why I stopped using it. I only found out about this program recently, so that's why I'm making this one, this video because I wanna tell you about it. Since if I didn't know, I'm pretty sure there's many of you who don't know about this. So I wanted to share the love and show you what it can do. I'm gonna open up a raw image. This is a photo I took recently. Uh, whenever you open up a raw image, you, you move from the photo persona to the develop persona. And as you can see, that's because this is a, a raw photo. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this image just slightly. Let's bring it in a little bit. Hit enter. Okay. I want to bring up the exposure because it's a little too dark for my taste. So I'm just going to make some adjustments. Brighten the image just a little bit. And then I can bring up the contrast just slightly. Oh, the other way. Negative one, negative two maybe. Let's put more light in the shadows. That's it. And I want to add a sharpness, which is clarity. All right, just a little bit. And now I want to cool down this image by bringing down the Kelvin. Let's see, maybe that's too much. I think that's good. Let's bring up the tint just slightly. Okay, let me warm it up a little bit more. I think that's good right there. Uh, I'm gonna click develop. So it'll take me back to the photo persona and here you'll see the adjustments layers again and all these different adjustments you can make to, these, to this photo. I like to keep it simple. I'm just gonna play around with the curves. Here's the curves. Um, I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit. Okay, I like that. You can go ahead and play around with all these adjustments. I like to keep it simple. And so I'm just gonna export this image because I like how it looks right now. So go to File, Export, and usually I export as it is right here, JPEG. Click Export. Name it, whatever you want. And it's going to my desktop. Let's see, let it export. Here's the image. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice looking image. I really like this program. I definitely would recommend it. It's only $50. Again, you don't have to pay the 10 monthly subscription with Photoshop. And in my opinion, it does the same thing. I do very basic photo editing and it it's more than I need. Um, like I said, share with someone because I know there's people out there who don't know about this program and maybe they're looking for a cheaper alternative. And this is just the program to do that. If you like this, go ahead and subscribe because I'm putting out more stuff every week and you don't want to miss it. This does it for this video and I'll see you on the next one.